bunch. <gasps> if you have a problem, pull this handle. It signals us and we arrive in the blink of an eye. Thank you, everyone, for being here today to witness my new incredible invention. Thanks to this new machine, your missions will become so easy. Hmm. First time it doesn't look too dangerous. Patience, Maurice. Patience. As if everyone was in danger each time I invented something. <laughs> Ernest, you do put everyone in danger each time you invent something. But not this time. Please welcome my most amazing invention, the time machine. Wow. Dr. Chicken Genius. Miguel, it's just a box. <laughs> he doesn't know anything about inventions. You see that big button? If you turn it this way, you go in the past. If you turn it that way, you go in the future. But you should know that with a time machine, you have to be very careful. Ah, duty calls, friends. The Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! Good mission! If we make a mistake in the past, bam! That could ruin everything in the future! Uh, you know they left, right? But I didn't have time for a demonstration. And open. Oh, hello, Uncle Tony. It's so nice to see you. It's nice to see you, but not to smell them. I stopped by the monkey's village right next to you. They're all sick. Mrs. Rosine caught a cold and gave it to everyone. That's an epidemic! That's really scary! We must quarantine that village to avoid spreading the germs through the jungle and quickly find the remedy! Follow me! We'll get some materials from my lab. So we need things to build a barricade to block up the quarantine zone, something to make a remedy, and some deodorant. Here. Uh, I don't need that, though. Yeah, you do. Trust me on that, Tony. Well, if everybody's ready, let's go, wait, friends. Wait, I heard everything. We will use my time machine to travel through time and solve that epidemic. We go back into the past, we prevent Rosine from catching a cold. If she doesn't have a cold, she can't contaminate anyone. Mission accomplished, as if nothing happened. So, who wants to change history with me, friends? Me, me, me! Miguel going with Dr. Chicken. <laughs> Let's go back into the past, Miguel. It's dark in here, Dr. Chicken. It's because we're in a spatio-temporal fault. Well, anyway, it's not like Miguel could thump the germs at the monkey's village. They're too small. Come on, Miguel. Turn the button towards the past. We can let him play with Ernest for a while. Come on, let's go, friends. On my signal. Five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs> Don't worry. Gilbert will find a remedy, I promise you. But we have to keep you in the village to avoid the epidemic spreading. Uh, do you have a tissue? Uh, and Mrs. Rosine, where is she? Well, it's time for her walk. She's gone. That's quite a problem. Maurice, Tony, find her. And bring her back to the village before she contaminates others. All right, no time to waste. I have to find the remedy fast. Uh, but he's not here. Where be buddies? You mean when be buddies. They are not gone, Miguel. We traveled through time. We are in the past, before Rosine contaminated the village. Whoa. Come, we'll prepare the equipment we need for this mission. No little cold will keep me home, that's for sure. I've been worse. Oh, hello, Mrs. Rosine. You don't look so good today. Mind your own business. Careful, don't get too close to her. We have to place her in quarantine. She's sick. What do you want to do to that nice lady? Leave her alone. Don't worry, dear Rosine. You can keep on with your walk. <laughs> Uh, 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 oh, be careful. Uh, oh my, it's gotten dark. Night falls quickly this time of year. Ah, uh, what's his problem? <laughs> Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Get out of there. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, we better get out of here. This place is full of germs. Uh, that's enough. Get back to the village. You can't tell us what to do. Yeah, she's right. It won't be easy to bring these two stubborn ones with us. Hmm, I got an idea. I forbid you to enter the village. 
<laughs> I'd like to see that. Me too. I'd like to see that, little rascals. What is it we're going to see exactly? I didn't hear the beginning part. Well, that worked out. Has it? Oh, no, Maurice. You've been contaminated. I'm fine. I'm the great warrior tiger. Okay, we have everything, Miguel. Let's go find Rosine now. Load up the bag. I wonder how far into the past we went. Yeah. Diplodocus! We went back too far into the past, Miguel. We went back to the era of dinosaurs! Ah! <laughs> Let's get out of here, quick! Uh, did you hear something? No, but bring me closer to that tree over there. There's still a bunch of berries to eat. Tissues. We want tissues. 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 Gilbert, we're gonna run out of banana leaves for everyone. I'm doing my best, Patricia. I'm doing my best. We brought back Rosine, but she sneezed on open. <gasps> Did you catch the virus, Maurice? No, I'm doing just fine. The great warrior tiger never gets sick. Quarantined like the others. Okay, whatever. Tony, come and help me, please. Be brave, Maurice. I'll bring you some tissues. Sorry, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, so dark tonight. Not a single star. Oh, oh. Roger, be careful. I'm already having a hard time finding that remedy. I don't need you to step on my test tubes. I'll never figure it out. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, well, oh my, what's going on? Oh, my, it's hot all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, no. Poor Junior. Got it as well. Don't worry, son. Gilbert is gonna find a remedy. Well, at least I hope so. We must be in the right era this time. But let's be careful, all right, my friend? <laughs> we went too far into the future! <laughs> ah! Hello, Marmosets. You don't look so good. Tissues. Tissues. Be careful! <laughs> hmm. To create a vaccine against this disease, I would need more samples from the germs. Patricia? That's it! Patricia! Go get us some! Sorry, Gilbert. I think I need to be quarantined as well. It's a disaster! Uh, I'm contaminated! I still haven't found the remedy! Achoo! I'm starting to feel the first signs of the infection! Runny nose! Sneezing sensation! <laughs> you good, Gilbert? I should ask you that question! You've been exposed to the germs. Why aren't you sick like everyone else? I don't know. Good hygiene, maybe? Yes! Your hygiene! Your dirtiness is the secret! It must make you immune to the disease! It's working! It's working! Your dirtiness is so toxic, it scares away the germs! That's the remedy! A little bit of your dirtiness in my special mixture and ta-da! <laughs> it's working! I feel better already! Come on, let's go to work, Tony! We must distribute this to all the sick people. So, Dr. Chicken? If my calculations are correct, Miguel, and they always are, we came back right before Rosine got sick. Let's go find her. <laughs> well done, friends. You saved us all. Wait. Where is Mrs. Rosine? They think they can stop me from taking a walk? They don't know me at all. I won't let them decide for me. Here she is. Ready, Miguel? <laughs> Let's go! Okay, Dr. Chicken. Ah! Ah! Go, Miguel. Cover her so she doesn't catch a cold. I will make her drink a nice cup of herbal tea. Oh. Don't worry, madame. We know what we're doing. We're from the future. That's it, Miguel. Let's go. <laughs> Here she is. Great. That's everybody. No more danger. That's odd. Looks like someone tied her up in a sleeping bag. I'd like to know who it was. <laughs> Probably time travelers from the future. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Miguel. We just need to get back to the present. <gasps> Dr. 
Dr. Chicken, over there! Oh, no, that's us. It's the Miguel and Ernest from the past. If we were to touch or run into each other, we would create a spatio-temporal fault that could destroy the entire universe. Then Miguel, Thumpy Miguel. <laughs> and then a bat flies right into me, and all the marmosets start sneezing on her. It's weird, no? So weird, yeah. We are back to our era, Miguel. We almost created a spatio-temporal fault. Mm -hmm. I'd better destroy my invention. Dr. Chicken, you sure? Yes, Miguel. It's way too dangerous. Do it, Miguel. Do it. <laughs> dumpy, dump, dumpy! By the way, did you know that using only a watermelon and some seashells, I've created a machine that reads minds? Wow! Dr. Chicken, big genius! So then, here we go. Snacks are ready. Um, the room is ready. Um, and the fruit for the salad. Ah, you already took care of that. Good that you got a lot. I mean, I don't want to criticize, but at Maurice's house, I'm not sure that Junior always eats balanced meals. All right, well, we're ready then. Ah, here they are, Tony. Hi there, Mom. Oh, here you are. So, my little tiger, not too tired from the journey? Um, say, is that new? Y your bell, it looks Don't a lot like Don't stand there. A... Come in. We have snacks ready for you. The journey must have made you hungry. Uh, thanks, Mom. Uh, say, your bell looks a lot like the Jungle Bunch's signal, doesn't it? Oh, no. It doesn't look like your signal at all. How could you even say that, Maurice? Now, why don't you go and say hi to Tony? Uncle Tony, I'm so happy to see you. Maurice, we're looking forward to seeing you. Warms my heart to have you home for a couple of days. You know, it's not always easy with all the missions, but the rest of the team insisted I took vacation time with Junior. Well, they were right. That's no way to live for a little tiger like Junior, always wandering around, out and about. But during your vacation, he'll finally get to rest for a bit. Right, my little tiger? This afternoon, we're going to play hopscotch and then tag, and then we can have some snacks. Yeah, great, Mom. But before that, he has to practice a few combat techniques. For his training, I need a dozen fire hoops and three or four rhinos. Do you happen to have anything like that around? Oh, come on, Maurice. Junior's on vacation. And you are too, you know. It's no big deal, Mom. Just a mini practice. Nothing big. No, Maurice. Vacation is vacation. Junior is at Grandma's, and at Grandma's we follow Grandma's rules. A complete ban on training and an obligation to play. Are we clear? Okay, Mom. You win. No training today. Ah, the signal. We'll play tomorrow, my friends. The Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! Hm. That's not the Jungle Bunch's signal. Hmm? Ah, you see, Mom, I fell for it. Your bell sounds just like the Jungle Bunch's signal. Not at all. Should I go get it? No, stay here, Maurice. I'll go. Oh, hello there, miss. What brings you here? <sighs> it's a pleasure, Mrs. Tiger Warrior. I'm Meredith. Whew. It's really high up here. It's closer than the Jungle Bunch, mm. but... Well, uh, and what brings you here today? A gardening mission? Uh, no, no. More like a Rider of Wrongs mission. I was told you looked after the neighborhood, so I just thought, well, there is a little flood in the valley. Could you take care of it? Yes, of course. Hmm. Uh, Mom, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, could you wait a moment? Be right back. What? You're back at work and you didn't even tell me? Mom, come on. You're supposed to be retired. Manu, come on. Back at work? That's going a bit too far. No, it's just once in a while and only for neighbors. Tony and I need to keep in shape somehow. We just have to do a little exercise. You know how important that is at our age. Yeah, well, you know, you could just do yoga to keep in shape, and then you wouldn't steal any work from the Jungle Bunch. My group of vigilantes. All right, let's go back to the others. We're going to solve that flood problem. Relax, Maurice. You don't have to call the Jungle Bunch. You heard what she said. It's only a little flood. I say we go check it out, make sure that everybody's all right, you know? <sighs> all right, but remember, you're still on vacation. Tony and I will take care of it. You just observe and relax. Okay. Come on, let's go, Meredith. Hmm. What has happened here? Never seen anything like it. Meredith, is this what you call a small flood? I'm just as surprised as you all are. 
The level has risen quite a bit since I left here. It's very strange. It hasn't rained in days. What could have triggered the water to rise so quickly like this? Something must be blocking it. Huh. We'll have to explore the surroundings to find the root of the problem. We need a raft. Maurice, remember, you're on vacation. Rest and relax. Okay, we need a raft. Good idea, Mom. How original. I can hear you, Maurice. Um, I'm just gonna stay here because I don't do well with water. No problem, Meredith. We are taking care of it. Are you all right? So far, we've got our heads above water. And how about you? Yeah, we're managing. It's still all right. Actually, we're fine. We don't even have to climb down to tree. See, Maurice, nobody is really worried, so just relax, sit back, and enjoy the view. First off, she's not even retired. Then she uses the same signal as the jungle bunches. We're supposed to just sit here and watch. <laughs> the view is lame, so is the rat. Maurice, I can hear you. Tony, there are other animals over there. Oh, we already spend most of our time in the water, so... And a lot underwater, so it doesn't matter. Are you kidding? The more water, the merrier. Hello, everything all right? Shush! It's nap time! So, no one needs our help. Oh, yes, all good. It's even rather enjoyable. Hey, that's our playground! We saw it first! Yeah, Peeves, you can't trick us! Just making sure you're all right. Go away! Hmm, I think I see the problem. I know of two guys who are going to get a lot of grief right now. We know what you're gonna say. We are really, really sorry. Right, Day Day? Oh, yeah, Gino, completely sorry. We made a big mistake, especially me, if you knew how I feel. All right, okay, <laughs> we got it. You're sorry. But why did you make such a huge dam? Have you seen how the valley is now? No, we didn't realize. I made a silly bet with Gino. We bet on who could make the biggest dam, and I won! Stop it, Day Day. You won. You won. That was the game, that's all. Ooh. Whoa, what is going on? Gino, I didn't build it to code. Sorry. What? You didn't build it to code? Oh boy, it's a disaster. Would you mind filling us in? Oh no, not at all. We're just saying the dam's about to break. <laughs> Mom, if the dam breaks, the animals will be washed away. We must get them to evacuate. Okay, well, goodbye vacation. Let's go! If we split into two groups, we'll be more efficient. Come on, Tony, let's go. So how's it looking, Maurice? Only one more trip. No, we're not budging. Ugh, talk about irritating. Everything's going to be swept away. That's just an excuse for you to steal our slide. Yeah, you bet. You're just jealous. What do you mean they don't want to leave? Well, I explained the situation, but they're refusing to leave the slide. <sighs> what can we do? Hmm, I have an idea. You again? Come on, guys. We got off on the wrong foot, so I brought a surprise. Have you ever tried the elephant slide? You made me feel so good. Wow, so cool! Oh, it's so much fun! Oh, I my God! The current is starting to get stronger. At least we're safe here now. What a relief. Thank you, Great Tiger Warrior. Oh no! Over there! Look! Help! Help me! Help me! What a tragedy. That's the current's too strong to try and swim. The branch will be submerged. Mama! We're scared! Hey, guys, we need you. Uh -huh. A bit more! 
Okay, come on, kids. Come on, let's go, kiddos. Mom, we're scared. It's taking too long. Wait here. Sorry. Just a little further. Almost there. Oh, no! Junior, it's up to you! Okay, Junior. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, Junior. Where are they? Junior! No hopscotch with Grandma today, Junior. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of tired, too. Ugh. Vacationing at Grandma's is no walk in the park. So, then I'm not an otter, and I'm known all around the jungle. I like to protect people. And you said that I had stripes. And I regularly save the jungle. Getting warmer, Maurice. Do I know Kung Fu? Mm -hmm. Figured it out. I'm Junior. It was you, Maurice. Oh, shoot. That was pretty difficult. I should have asked if I lived in a bowl. Your turn, Miguel. Miguel's turn to guess mystery character. Guessy, guessy, guessy. Hey, I don't know him. Who is it? That's Ernest. He's an inventor. An inventor? Oh, kind of like Gilbert? Hmm, kind of like Gilbert? Not even close. I'll explain later. So, Miguel, you can begin. The rules of Guess Who I Am are very simple. You get six questions to guess the character drawn on that wooden card. Your turn. Hmm, is the character small? Mm hmm. Uh, character is small. Hmm. Uh, is character a rock star? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Character inventor? Mm hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, is character best inventor in the whole jungle? Mm. That's rather subjective, Miguel. Do you have another question? Oh, come on. That's not subjective at all. He's on the wrong track. He's clearly thinking of me. Miguel guessed it. Miguel no inventor. Told you. He'll say it's me. Mystery character is... Dr. Chicken. No. Are you kidding? Miguel, you really think Ernest is the best inventor of the jungle? Oh, yes. Miguel remembers. With just a few pearls, Dr. Chicken invents pool game. To play, you just need to throw the big ball close to the little red ball. Mm. Oh, great. Another one of your super useful inventions. Stop grumbling, Gilbert. It's a lot of fun. Miguel's turn. Miguel's turn. Oh. Ah! Oops. You call that an invention? Apart from disasters, what does he invent? Got problems with this earnest person? He's an inventor. We've had a few problems with him. That's putting up mildly, Maurice. In order to find the pearls for his bulls game, he went down to the abyss and, of course, found himself in danger. Junior and I had to dive to the bottom of the ocean to save him. And pff, how do I put it? That was no walk in the park. Hey, we just have to keep calm. Maybe they're not electric eels. Well, they're electric eels after all. There's only one sensible thing left for us to do. Run! That's it. It looks like we found Ernest, Junior. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, 
Hey there, my friends. Am I glad to see you? You see, my foot is stuck in this seashell, and I can't get it out. Plus, I don't have much oxygen left either, so I'm in a bit of a bind. It's true Ernest gets us in trouble, but he also tries to make up for it as well. That's true. Even when he tries to invent other things to repair the damage. One time, a seismic fault became active next to the Kiwi village. <laughs> to avoid a catastrophe, he tried to sew it up to prevent the fault from getting wider. The earthquake caused a large landslide. We have to find a way to stabilize the tectonic plate the village stands on. If only my seam had held. It didn't work, but at least he tried. Yeah, and he was the one who invented the spring propeller. This might be scary. Three, two, one, fire! Okay, it also didn't work. Mm -hmm. But that was a good idea, right? In my head, it worked perfectly. I guess his inventions usually backfire. One time, he wanted to have hot water for his herbal tea. So to warm it up, he invented a mechanism using heat from the volcano. Too much water is flowing into the volcano, and it's filled with steam, and soon it's going to explode like a huge bomb! Except a volcano isn't made for herbal tea. Hmm, it looks like we've got a little problem with our doorbell. Oh, dear. Where are my glasses? Oh, no. Miguel said that you're chicken. Luckily, we managed to stop the machine before the final explosion. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh huh? Volcano no fight? And then Miguel saved Ernest at the same time. Oh, uh, poor Ernest. He must have felt so bad. He clearly didn't mean any harm. Oh no, I'm sure. Ernest never means harm. But still, we're always in complicated situations because of him. One time, Ernest wanted to invent an ice cube dispenser. <sighs> Ernest, will you tell us a bit more about your new invention? Well, uh, I call this system the Isonator. So we built a machine at the top of a snowy mountain to have the ice cubes come all the way down to him. A tiny ice cube falls into a funnel and comes down through the pipe right into my glass. Except that a mountain isn't made for dispensing ice cubes. Look, up there! The isonator caused huge cracks in the ice! Mm -hmm. So Maurice and Junior had to block a crack in the mountain before it all fell apart. Let's go, Junior! You're right, Junior. We're being followed. Almost done. Remember, Junior? That was a cliffhanger. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> Destroy a mountain? We're talking about a kiwi, right? A bird about yay high with many wings? Aren't you guys exaggerating a little? No, you're the one who doesn't get it. Once, you almost destroyed the Earth. So, is everything set, my friends? Of course it is. Gilbert said that the meteorite would be spectacular. One time, a meteorite was supposed to brush past the Earth, and we were getting ready to observe it in the sky. Miguel ready now. Miguel wants to see Gilbert's meteorite. Ernest got into his head to make a percolator to serve all-you-can-drink chocolate. That's interesting, but what exactly does it have to do with the meteorite? Except that the percolator had a problem. It flew up into the sky. It ended up deflecting the meteorite. And well, a meteorite is not made to be deflected. Luckily, we managed to blow it up just before it could crash into the jungle. That's it. Oh yeah, nearly destroying the Earth. That's harsh. But did you ever think that, uh, well, you know. Think what, Mom? Well, the volcano, the mountain, the meteorite. If he's triggering disasters all the time, is it possible that he actually could be part of the bad guys? No! no. It's just how Ernest is. Are you sure? That really is a lot of disasters. Dr. Chicken Nice, the champs believe me, Kel. La, 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 la. Hello, friends. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Ernest. We were just talking about you. 
What brings you here? Got a problem? Uh, no. This morning I said to myself, Self, I haven't seen the Jungle Bunch in a while. <laughs> so here I am. Ha, ah, you look tense. Oh, you know, I could build you an automatic massage table. Would you like that? Oh, and by the way, I brought along my latest invention. Um, Ernest, what kind of invention is this? Well, this morning I told myself, Self, going to see the bunch is nice and all, but I can't go empty-handed. Hmm? Even though, you know, I don't have hands. This time, I'm really proud of myself. I was telling myself, Self, I need to make something fun because it's nice to have fun, and bam! Revelation! I made something that is going to rock the jungle! <gasps> no matter if you're young or old, everybody is going to have a blast! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... My trampoline! So, who wants to try it first? I'll not do it. Anybody else? Oh, that's such a shame. I was really proud of my invention. All right, I'll do it. But let's be clear, it's only a trampoline, right? Yes, of course. However, I did add a little wheel to adjust the jump height on the device. <laughs> Clever, right? It's set on minimum, so even if you're afraid of heights, it's all good. Okay, great, Ernest. Thanks. Uh, wait, Maurice. Just a little test. Looks pretty harmless. I mean, Gilbert threw the stone. Oh well, the jungle bunch! To the rescue!